minutes, 30 Your minutes battle going. between, of course, the side there of um, Natunuan North and Resplandor. But this time around, San Mariano and Pork na Capitan will be showing up in the Land of Dawn. Here comes your bands right now. It is going to be the Ling and the Alice. First and foremost, been taken down here in our drafts. Let us see, of course, on our second uh, bands coming in from these two teams. Let us see. All right. Uh, again, the Ling, Alice, very familiar, of course. The meta bands here. Lunox is there, of course. Joyhead. Uh, there you go. The Joyhead is taken down. So, tingnan natin, of course. The Eve is there as well. Grabe yung, uh, uh, ano ng Eve, guys. Grabe yung contribution din ng Eve when it comes to, of course, the team fight. Nakita natin yon. However, man, that was really a nice series we've seen so far between those uh, two uh, squads previously. There we go. The Lunox has been taken out. San Mariano right now is will be having a first prayer to pick and ban. So what will be their opening hero pick this time around? Again, Pook na kapitan. Uh, we have. Uh, let us see. Of course, on anong team composition din, no? yung uh, team na to. So we have seen, of course, the Estes Brody combo. We have seen. Oh, Zilong once again. <laughs> I really thought that that was going to be a Zilong pick once again. So, and familiar don nakita natin, of course, that Zilong uh, pick uh, from uh, our previous series that was intense as well. So, Benedetta. So, the nice opening coming in from the side of Maria, San Mariano this time around. On the other side, Pok na Kapitan. What will be the response? Like, this is going to be a Barats pick. So, tingnan natin. That is going to be Barats indeed. So, silent Barats. And, of course, Pok na Kapitan. It's gonna be Esmeralda. So side lanes first has been picked from both teams here. So Benedetta side lane. I think uh, magadang yung uh, picks dito ng side ng Pok Kapitan no, when it comes to their lanes. So when it comes to mobility as well, you have uh, of course the Benedetta. Yung fooling ko lang guys, yung, yung Barats is somehow slow no. Yung movement niya. But then again, when it comes to lanes, grabbing spammable yung skills ni Barats. So it is gonna be of course a heavy tanker as well. So ito na nga, the Eve is open and as well as the Kufra. So this is a nice combo. There you go. This is a nice synergy as well. Uh, nice picks coming in from the side of uh, San Mariano. Taking in the Eve as well as the Kufra. So, wala pa naman hyper carries in both teams na to guys. So of course, uh, one support coming in from San Mariano there. Uh, two supports rather of San Mariano. So one side lane, one hyper carry. I think is lacking in the side of San Mariano. Here on the other side, Pok na Kapitan. Okay. They are now going into, of course, a uh, Selena this time around. So, okay, guys, uh, PNK is open. We so far uh, mostly been banned din ng mga squads natin is uh, PNK. So, I think PNK is a great pick as well for the uh, vision game. And as well as to shut down here, Benedetta as well. Very sleeky when it comes to uh, uh, mobility ni Ben, eh, no? So, I think uh, it is a nice, of course, pick as well. Uh, for a PNK pick, rather, coming in from the side of Pok ng Kapitan. But, tingnan natin. I think they are lacking also hyper carries here. Oh, the Diggy instead has been taken down. That is a wise <laughs> ban actually. Hindi ko yon uh, na yon na isip guys. Uh, I think the ban is a, a ban of the Diggy is a wise ban indeed coming in from side of San Mariano. Especially grabbing crowd control dito guys. You have the slows here from the Eve as well as the lockdowns from the Kufra. Akai. All right. This is the first time we're about to see an Akai pick as a tank here. Uh, in our series, Pok na Kapitan will secure this uh, hero. On the other side, San Mariano, Hyper Carry, and one, of course, side lane needed still to finish their team composition. A Paquito is uh, um, a nice uh, pick for 1v1s, but when it comes to a team fight, guys, uh, Harit. All right, and Roger. Here we go. I think I like this one. This team composition coming in from the side of San Mariano. Grabe yung power spike, guys. Grabe yung, uh, grabe yung damage. Yung scaling, rather, when it comes to uh, the progression of our game. You have to look out for Ben. Eh? And man, a late game Eve is also a late game Eve. And Harit can give you hell, to be honest. Ito na naman, the Zaman Force and uh, the real world manipulation combo. No escape. The slows are there. Maka, uh, maka Ice Queen 1 lang to si Eve, guys. It's gonna be, man, a nice combo indeed. On the other side, that is gonna be the Harper Carry. A Brody coming in from the side of Pook ng Kapitan. Alright. Best of one series, ladies and gents. Between San Mariano and Pook ng Kapitan here in our third to last series. 
Who will it be? Who will climb through our day one of eliminations? And who will, of course, end their journey here in um, this uh, first ever Mobile Legends Inter Barangay Tournament here in SK Federation San Pascual? Right, here we go. Comfort picks. It is number 23, San Pascual. Kofra here. Number 30, San Pascual Harit. Comfort picks, ladies and gents. We are seeing it right now coming in from the side of Sana Mariano. Welcome, Mobile Legends, indeed. And welcome once again here in SK Federation of San Pascual. Again, this is now our third to the last series. It is a battle between uh, a battle between San Mariano and Pook ng Capitan. When it comes to men, it's not big. Guys, during the drafts, I like the team composition more. Coming in from the side of San Mariano, they have a nice power spike progression, guys, compared to the side here of of Pok na Capitan. But then again, their side lanes you cannot underestimate. Also, the Esmeralda and this Barats. So, alam nam natin, of course, here Esme has a nice counter here against the Harit. Yeah, so ignore shields lang yun guys whenever he, he going to go for a chrono dash chrono dash on the zaman force and speak of which ooh, early rotations coming in from side of doni here being uh chase coming in from sejuru sejuru of course uh, trying to have that poke against uh, esmeralda and here comes you say they are all connected indeed pero merong purify battle spell dito si sejuru so that is going to be a nice battle spell being uh, secured as well. So alam nila merong Selina no on the side here of uh, side here of Pok na Kapitan and uh, we going to expect of course early aggression. Speaking of which it is going to be Eddie here having nice Tyrant's reve uh, revenge there flickers out and of course he, he say uh, in that engagement Sejiro again another our connection this time around wala siyang purify battle spell and instant kill there in favor for the side of Esmeralda and that engagement here we go this is going to be Doni and uh, Tolitz uh, right now going to go for a uh, uh, zone perimeter of course security here around the turtle buff pero nandito again then of course Yuzi Kazuya uh, Kyle Cutie forever and as well as uh, Anseer on his Barats Eddie he has the vision here Battle with the traps, of course, coming in from the side of Yusei. Instantly, of course, knowing where Eddie is. Bouncing ball out along Don. Na agro na nga dito, of course, ni Tolitz. Yung turtle buff. Will they be able to go for a contest? Wala palang level 4 dito si Kyle Cutie forever. And I think this is also an advantage here. Coming in from the side of um, the side of uh, San Mariano. Meron level 4 na dito si Doni. Level 4 na dito si Oshi as well. So, of course, Tolitz is here. Level 4 din. So need, they need to secure first, of course, here, the side of uh, the side of uh, Pook na Kapitan. Their ultimates first. So especially Kyal Cutie Forever guy. He really needs that uh, Hurricane Dance. And here comes the real world manipulation. A surprise attack, bouncy ball. No escape. Ito yung sabi natin. It is going to be a very difficult to engage without the Hurricane Dance coming in from Kyle Cutie Forever. This is a big win indeed coming in for uh, here on uh, San Mariano's side. Online na online sila guys. That real world manipulation. That I like to find a blow coming in from Oishi and Doni. Uh, when it comes to team fight, having that great advantage indeed against the side here of Pok na Kapitan. So free turtle na naman, and they have taken two kills. So nice stride in the early stage of the game, and they are now celebrating, of course, in net worth golden. Falling star moon coming in from the side of Esmeralda here, trying to go for a chase, pero bouncing ball coming in from the side of Eddie. Eddie right now with a nice protection there. Against the side there of Esmeralda's aggressiveness against the side of Tolitz. On the top, however, of course, Nandito see Ansir. Ansir right now holding his ground on his Barats against uh, Oshi. The advantage, of course, uh, having a Bene as well is the mobility. Pwede yung iwanan yung lane niya yun, guys, sa taas. <laughs> While, of course, trying to have, uh, trying to join the team fights in the mid. Uh, in, uh, no, in a short matter of time. Here we go, Tyrant's Revenge being popped up here, coming from the side of uh, uh, Eddie. Pero, of course, Yurkin Dance once again being popped up as well for Kyle Cutie forever. All is silent here. Ooh, the Denner is welcome. Coming in from the side of Ansir here inside the turret. Pero, walang, of course, knock up done. So, wall on the bottom. However, Sejiro here being picked off with a nice thousand pounder coming in from the side of Kyle Cutie forever. 
four man rotations indeed for Ok ng Kapitan Arrow misses almost man hitting Eddie there on the top however both uh, players here Asir and Oshi just try to brawl it each other pero the prolonging team fight guys I think answer here has a better of course advantage depend sa stocks uh, big guy guys gives you amount uh, defense uh, defense and HP region amount guys uh, as uh, every time you you hit of course you put out your skills against your enemies here so here we go this is now defense coming in from the side here of a uh, Capitan in the middle lane San Mariano they are just going to hold this ground. Avoid Crystal Slow on the bottom. Zaman Force coming in from the side of Sojiro, Sojiro against Esmeralda. So, stalemate pa rin. And this is going to be the second time around we're about to see the turtle popping up. Ito na nga guys. Doni right now on his heave has now the Ice Queen wand. Very important itemization. Additional snow when it comes, of course, the real world manipulation attack. Wind Talker coming in from the side of Tolitz as well. Inagro na nga dito, of course, ni Tolitz yung turtle na yon. Merong, of course, Yurikan Dance. Dito si Cal Cutie Forever. Just in case you go for a perfect uh, attack there. Perfect, of course, um, invade in the turtle pit. And here we go. So, so far, again, re engage on the turtle buff. So, walang contest guys. So, this is going to be very interesting. Call QT forever. Merong Hurricane Dance. Yung sabi natin, will be able to go for a contest this time around. Here we go. 1,000 pounder in. Hurricane Dance. And nakuha pa rin. Dito ni Tolets. Yung uh, turtle buff na yun. Real world manipulation in the backlines. Look at Doni guys. Nice positioning on his eve. Here comes the rest back play. Coming in from the side. Here's San Mariano. Electro final blow for Oishi. Oh, Esmeralda backs away. Being chased there. Chrono dash. And that, of course, Arrow almost hitting there. Sejiro. With a nice chrono dash out, still managed to have that escape. Here we go. You say is here. You know nothing how this one goes all the top. However, Oshi Tollets continue to go for their aggressive rotations. Speak of which, answer is here, guys. Try to go in the top lane. Think natin if they be able to go for contest here. It comes the deadness welcome indeed. And a stun on the turret here being aggroed coming in from the turret damage. Still managed to escape. Oh, she, of course, on his Benedetta easily escapes that engagement. Say is here. Oh, Tyrant's Rage. Oh, the, the ultimate coming in from Kyle Cutie forever as well. Thousand Powder out. Better the Wolf Pounce will finish him off. Flaming in from the side of Tolitz in that engagement, guys. So far, this is going to be a uh, intense battle here in here and there. Another <laughs> Zaman Force being committed here coming on the side of Soj Sejiro. Esmeralda backs off. And this is going to be the first turret right now being secured coming in from the side, of course, of uh, San Mariano. And another steal here on the buff. And that is big. On the top. Answer is here. Ooh, this is going to be a two turrets already being secured. And look at his positioning coming in from the side of Eddie. Having a vision here, providing some vision here, of course, for the side there of their team. San Mariano right now is having a 22 net worth gold lead against 17 here in the side, of course, of uh, Pokna Capitan. Oh, she is here. Here we go. Answer. Trying to go for an harassment here. Rotations coming in from Kazia. As well as you say. Here we go. This is going to be an arrow connection on point. Detonus welcome with a nice follow-up there. The stun is there. And the thousand pounder out. No escape. That is going to be a four-man commitment against Oishi there on the top. However, this is going to be provide uh, going to be a space being provided there for Oishi. So, think na natin how this one goes, but so far, Call Cutie Forever is here. Answer right now, Kazuya as well. So, you say, will they be able to hold this ground out? Answer is here. Low on na dito yung turret. Another arrow connection here. Real world manip manipulation. A god. Dito si Sidoni, and that is really a nice counter attack there. Real world, of course, giving you the shields, and that, of course, min is stunned whenever you escape. Try to escape, of course, that square of death. Here we go. Eddie bouncing ball. Optimizations checked out, guys. Especially for our course, Kazuya right now with the brute force breastplate. Merong Ding Shang, of course, Hunter Strike. And it's inventory on the other side. Toilets right now, of course, we talk our endless battle as well. On the top lane, Oshi. 
He has brute force breastplate, berserker's axe. Pero I think this is going to be an action in the middle lane. We're about to see Eddie right now has the vision here. Another contest in a purple buff, and this is going to be aggro right now. Coming in the side of Tolis, Kyle Cutie forever is here. Wala siyang ultimate, guys. So this is going to be a uh, uh, not going to be a contest. Rather, coming in from the side here of uh, Pok na Kapitan. Ah. So, oh, LKT forever, Kazia, you say. I don't mean to check, especially, guys, for our uh, sports here. Oh, the Tyrant's Rage connection coming in from the side of Eddie here. Bouncing ball, pero escape out with that nice flaker. Almost that combo once again. Ang sinasabi natin, guys, that perfect setup lang coming in from the side of Eddie. And that real world manipulation, the back lines for Doni will gonna be a hurtful situation indeed. And speaking of hurtful, look at Sejiro here. Concentrate lang, focus sa kanyang, of course, uh, attack here on the bottom. Answer is here in the top lane as well. Oshi. Time to harass. This barrage wala lang big guy stocks dito. Here comes the tetanus. Welcome. Electro final blow did not commit in that engagement. Here comes the stun. Try to go back away and another uh, man escape. And speaking of which, four man rotations against answer here on the top. It is gonna be a difficult situation indeed. However, that is gonna be a barats guys. Barats is a very tanky hero indeed. So of course uh, they are the, the the side here. San Mariano decided to go back in this engagement. Here we go, Esmeralda. They have the four. They have an initiator here. Oh, look at this one! A long range stylus revenge and the combo of a real world manipulation coming in from the side of Doni. That is going to be a great pick of Hurricane Dance popping up. We're coming in from the side of Kyle Cutie forever. And man, grab it time and time again. These two, Eddie and Doni, the duo combo on the Tyrant's revenge, real world manipulation. Time and time again, guys. What a great pick of combo indeed. You say here has been taken down, and this is going to be a lord being secured without a single contest there from the side of Oakland Capitan. There we go. Oshi. Oshi right now on the bottom. It is going to go for a forward here. Pero look at this one, Eddie, right now. <laughs> He's trying to go for a taunt here. Here we go. Four man defense coming in from the side, of course, of Pork Capitan. The Lord is now pushing through in the middle lane as well. On the bot, it is going to be Oshi as well. Forning Star Moon coming in from the side of Esmeralda. Rotations coming in. Eddie is here. Doni as well. Nice Void Crystal and a real world manipulation in the man. And this is going to be a Tyrus Revenge as well. Ooh, Tolitz. Grave holding, of course. His uh, man, Gigil, there <laughs> on his uh, Roger. He almost, man, uh, going to overcommit in that engagement. That is, of course, a nice composure. Coming in from Tolitz, nagita natin din, guys. Speaking of which, look at Tolitz right now. Wind Talker, Endless Battle, Brute Force Breastplate in his inventory. Sejuro are on the side. They have Feather right now, Holy Crystal. And, of course, that the Calamity Reaper being secured as well. So this is going to be, of course, answer right now. He has the Guardian Helmet, Thunder Belt as well on his Barats, Esmeralda. He has, of course, Calamity Reaper and Bruce Force uh, Breastplate as well. So here we go. Another action in the chalk point. We're seeing here. And advantage Dito, of course, Doni when it comes to this area of the map. So a simple drawing of the real world manipulation will, of course, take uh, uh, all of the players here on the side of Pok na Kapitan. He's still, uh, still trying to go for a siege, pero concentrate now dito si Oishi here, trying to take down the turret on the bot, and he will successfully. Rotations coming in from the rest, of course, of Pok na Kapitan, but they are too late. And look at Eddie here on the flanks with a nice Tyrant's Revenge. Answer here backs away. Kyle Cutie forever as well. Extra final blow, Floyd Crystal, no. Uh, he is having a slow there. I really thought merong electro final blow, Void Crystal pa yun, guys. So that was the Void Crystal Slow. Man, that is going to be a great uh, help indeed when it comes to a team fight. That Ice Queen won, the Genius won, plus Immortality already being uh, secured on the side here of Doni. Concentrate on the to the guys in the middle lane, and that is going to be a pick off once again easily. And the side here, of course, of uh, San Mariano. They are very cautious, guys. They are just choosing their fight. And speaking of which, this is the perfect opportunity to go for a pick-up play. Pero nakapag I reflect to final blow pa nga doon. Si Oishi still managed to escape in that engagement, guys. The arrow connection indeed. Pero Oishi backs away. Here comes the Esmeralda. Eddie. Trying to go hide again. Death brush attack. Again, we have to look out the combo, guys. That's uh, Tyrant's Revenge. 
and uh, real world manipulation combo. Lagyan mo pa si Sejiro there with that nice zaman force. Man, you cannot really escape easily in that uh, uh, square of death. Yung combo dito ng side ng uh, ano no, San Mariano. So with regards to the map control, guys, I think uh, lamang na lamang when it comes to turret objectives dito. Yung side ng um, San Mariano securing six turrets already against one. So that is big. So however, uh, look at this one. All uh, lanes are being pushed right now. Wala ng outer, our outer turrets dito yung side ng uh, Pok na Kapitan. And they are now waiting for another Lord here. So this is going to be a very cautious play. I cannot blame the teams, guys. This is a do or die situation here. They need to be very wise on their decision making. Especially we are reaching the late stages of the game. So the death timers are up. So here we go. Under 15 seconds, the Lord will be spawning into the Land of Dawn. And that is going to be a Luminous Lord. So big uh, uh, opportunity for them to go for a push if ever makuha nga dito sa side ng uh, uh, San Mariano. Meralda is here. Here we go. Ito na. Inaagro na nga dito guys. Inaagro na nga dito ni sa, ng San Mariano squad. Yung Lord na yun. And while of course Eddie here providing some uh, vision, providing some zone against the rest of Pok na Kapitan. On the top lane, however, Oishi here trying to go for a split push. Here we go, Eddie right now, Bansi Bolt and Revenge. And this is going to be the space they are been looking for. The Lord has been taken already by the side here of uh, San Mariano without even a single contest. This is it. Itemizations check, ladies and gents. Uh, but so far here, Oshi. Right now, of course, on his bene. Malefic Roar has been secured, of course, to take down Tarot's here easily. Tarot Buster, you guys, the passive. And, of course, Athena Shield, Berserker Zax. Brute Force Breastplate as well. On the other side, here we're going to see, of course, the answer here is Barras right now. Still same itemizations uh, we are seeing here. On the other side, Athena Shield dito. Sinecure, of course, Nikazia. So, of course, they need, of course, to look out for the magical damage output. So that is good. Nice optimization coming in from the side, of course, of Kazuya there. Here comes the real world manipulation. Oh my goodness, the slow is real. And the combo coming in from the side of Eddie with nice tyrant's rage taking down, you say, there instantly. And here comes the siege coming in from the Lord. Lord, the void crystal slow is just insane. Uh, mortality has been pop up. Try to go back away with a nice flicker here. Pero concentrate na dito sila sa base, guys. And this is going to be a nice cleanup play coming in from the side here of San Mariano. Congratulations, San Mariano. You will proceed into our second round. Good game. Well played indeed for the side here of Pok na Kapitan. However, they fall short. San Mariano, congratulations. You will proceed, of course, to our second round of events. My goodness, that is going to be, of course, a 16-minute uh, a match.